Hey everyone, Max at the microphone again, and today we will quickly discuss the new CSGO update and all news and leaks regarding future Valve games. So let's get right into it. After the longest gap of 223 days, the CSGO developers finally released a new weapon case in addition to a sticker capsule and a music kit. What's interesting, the name of the capsule is Espionage and the name of the case is Revolution and I don't wanna bring my tinfoil hat into it, but it looks like Espionage refers to our spine on the CSGO developers when we caught them developing Source 2 in a closed beta dev version. And Revolution feels like a reference to the transition to the new engine. It could be very well just an ironic coincidence, but Valve often likes to play that way with the community, especially considering the sticker directly hints at Source 2. Overall, all the stickers and skins are pretty cool, but it's a shame that the developers didn't risk adding 65 community stickers at once like they did last time. The next case can theoretically be expected sometime in June, but with Valve timings we shouldn't guess in advance, especially considering that art on some of the skins was used without the consent of the original authors. Get 5 free bucks for just trading your CSGO items on Skins Monkey. Simply select a few of your current skins, pick a new one in the same price range, and trade your old and rusty items to something more new and shiny. If you can't find something suitable for selected price, it will automatically add the leftover to your balance. Skins Monkey runs giveaways every day, week and month. Just complete a few simple tasks and receive free skins. Here you can easily preview desired weapons and if you need any particular item, you can always use the advanced field filters in the middle. If you want any trade locked items, you can simply use the reserve feature until they become available. Use code Gaben and buy skins much cheaper with a 30 plus 5% top up bonus. Skins Monkey, links and my code down below. Just a week ago, a huge number of low-level engine changes appeared in one of the CSGO updates. Almost no one noticed this change, but developers have updated Steam runtime to SRT2 version 5.4.1. Very roughly speaking, SRT is a universal layer that allows you to run the game on different builds of Linux. And what's interesting is that CSGO has updated from SRT1 to SRT2, which is the same version that Dota using right now on Source 2. It's important to note that Dota switched to SRT2 SRT2 during the transition to the new engine 7 years ago. So SRT2 has been around for a quite long time and if it wasn't due to the new engine, the developers could have also added a new version of Steam Runtime to CSGO much earlier. And in general it looks like they've updated the game build compiler, because there are not only new lines, but the structure of lines and path has slightly changed itself. This caused all the community servers to collapse and the developers even sent out an email explaining why this all happened. There are also new lines supposedly related to the operation, but if you do some digging, it turns out that they are not new at all and appeared purely because of a bug during the transition from one compiler to another. And going back to my previous video about manipulations with the workshop and the hidden S2 tag on publications. And when you publish any add-ons using the Source 2 Workshop Manager, the text related to Dota will automatically be replaced with the text that were mentioned on March 24th. But most interestingly, if you'll try to publish that add-on through the modified tools, in addition to the CSGO game modes, you will get hidden text called Map and S2 on the published page. So when the Source 2 engine thinks that is currently in a game called CSGO, it will automatically add text that shouldn't even theoretically be on a Dota Workshop publication. And after all, this is the same tech we saw when we were spying on the developers. Just in case, let me remind you that for several months in the closed beta dev branch under IPD 710, the developers were constantly playing on maps like D Inferno S2, Overpass S2, Italy S2, AR Shoots S2 and many others. What's interesting is that a few days ago the beta dev branch was updated for the first time in 3 months. And this is particularly noteworthy given the appearance of a bunch of hidden IDs for block blog posts on the official website. Look, 41047 is the blog post announcing the case and capsule, and a few more hidden ones appeared after it, 41054, 41062 and 066. And even more remarkably, on 16th of February expires the time for initiating the new Counter-Strike trademark, which was registered by Valve about a year ago. And they either have to show the patent office that they intend to use this in an existing product, so basically to announce something, or they have to extend the waiting period by another 6 months. Meanwhile, even despite the lack of updates, CSGO continues to increase its regular player base. And after the addition of a new case, it even broke the all-time online record. 
Interestingly enough, according to the CSGO stats website, as many as 764,000 accounts were banned in 2022, which is a decent percentage of a total player base. At the beginning of February, a user called Ricardo Sosa announced his new map with innovative CSGO mechanics. DE Drop is an experimental design concept for Wingman game mode in which, after planting the bomb, the platform begins to slowly descend downwards, as in previously unseen dynamics and verticality to the gameplay. It's worth noting that the location clearly references a small section from the first Half-Life, where you have to go down while fighting off falling headcrabs. At the moment, the map does not have any visual style and is designed in generic dev textures. But I sincerely hope the community appreciates that idea and it will make its way into the game at some point. And speaking not only about the transition of CSGO to the new engine, but also about future Valve games, it's worth noting that lately there is some strange stuff beginning to appear in the developer's portfolio on LinkedIn. For an example, after 7 years of working on Dota, someone suddenly starts working on an announced project. A new on Prime is rumored to be developed by Dota's main game designer called Ice Frog. Or one of the former level designers mentions that he was working on innovative, previously unseen gameplay for an unannounced project. And to top it all off, Valve is constantly adding new job openings on their official website, like the one looking for a software engineer. Quote, we are hoping your expertise in software engineering can help build the next amazing Valve game or expand and improve an established hit like Counter-Strike Global Offensive or Dota 2. Also, I would like to mention the sudden announcement of a major update for Team Fortress 2. Quote, Steam Workshop creators, can we have your attention, please? The following message is so urgent, so time-sensitive, we made the executive decision to skip TikTok and Twitter entirely and break the glass on the most bleeding-edge communication technology available. Welcome to the future. Welcome to a blog post. Wow, you're probably thinking, I forgot how hard reading is. Yeah, it's scary how fast you lose that, but don't worry will be brief. The last few Team Fortress summer events have only been item updates, but this year we're planning on shipping a full-sized update with items, maps, towns, unusual effects, war paints and who knows what else. So, for the first time in 7 years since Jungle Inferno, the developers are not only going to release a major update for the game which the community has long been trying to bury alive, but also announced it in a few months prior. Honestly, Valve hasn't ceased to amaze us lately. And also, for the first time in a few years, Valve employees will attend the Game Developers Conference. Usually, judging by the past behavior of the company, this happens shortly before or after the announcement of any product. But in theory, it could be related to the successful release of Steam Deck. Leave a comment with the chicken emoji if you watched this far and check out my previous video where I talk about how we tricked the new engine and found evidence that CSGO on Source 2 actually exists. Увидимся!